Chapter 5 Optics Practice Questions Figure 3 shows a ray of monochromatic light in the plane of the paper incident on the end face of an optical fiber. Figure 3 Question A I draw on a copy of the diagram the complete page followed by the incident ray showing in the entering in the fiber and emerging from the fiber in the far end. I as incident cry angle and R as angle of refraction ray. Angle of refraction R bigger than angle of incident ray I. Question 2. I, I state any things that, that occur in speed of the ray as the follows in the path from the source. Calculation are not required. From the Snell's law, N R sin I equals to N plus sin R N equals to C over V N as the refractive index C as the speed of light constant number 3 times 10 power 8 meter per second and V is velocity right on that medium. In other term, V class times since I equals to V I sin R. Any change in is First one, direction or angle. Second one is velocity. Third one is wavelength. Question B. Question I. Calculate the critical angle for the optical fiber at the air boundary. Refractive index of the optical fiber class equals to N class since I critical angle equals to N air sin 90 degree 1 1.75 1.57 sin IC equals to 1 is N of air and 1 is sin 90 degree 
sin IC equals to 1 divided by 1.57 or equals 0 0.64 and IC equals to 40 degree. Question II. The optical fiber is not surrounded by cladding of the refractive index 1.47. Calculate the critical angle of the core cladding boundary. N plus sin IC equals N C sin 90 degree. So 1.57 sin IC equals to 1.47 times 1. Sin IC equals to 1.47 divided by 1.57 equals to 0 0.94 then I see equals to 70 degree continue to the other question State what it means by coherent source of light. B question. Young fringes, young fringes are produced on the screen from the monochromatic source by the arrangement shown in figure 4. I Question Explain why slit S should be narrow. Question I I Why do slits S1 and S2 act as coherent source? C. The pattern on the screen may be represented as a graph of intensity against position on the screen. The central fringe is shown on the graph is feature file. Copy and complete this graph to represent the rest of the patterns. Answer of A question. Answer of B question. S1 as the source of wave as monochromatics or one wavelength. I, I there are two conditions of interference. First one coherence. Second one monochromatics wave. Coherent as the constant in 
phase change. And monochromatic wave is the same in wavelength or same in frequency. Grab for the answer C. On the line red as the amplitude and the center of position has the maximum intensity, coherent is no pace changing in width. And this is a whole of answer question. Thank you very much for watching my screen video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you very much.